How's it going? Welcome back to another Courage998 video. Today we have our update video. Hope everyone is doing well. This year we head into our 12th year. Today's video is an update that outlines the plans for 2024 and the foreseeable future. We currently have three channels under the brand and this update will cover all those as well. Let's begin with the other two channels as they have the least amount of changes occurring. The vlog channel will continue as it is and we hope to push more uploads to that channel this year. The main struggle is the style of editing as the process hasn't been as streamlined compared to the main channel. Along with that, we hope to introduce two new style of videos this year, or whenever possible. One of these have already been filmed, and once again, we're trying out another style of editing, but also preparing this to allow it for easier, uh, easier repetition, so streamlining the editing process. Another style will hopefully add a bit more variety to the channel, as the current content is slowly becoming repetitive. The Model Railway channel is mostly staying the same as it's currently chugging along at a decent pace that we've been able to keep up with. Our main endeavour is to have uploads every 20 days, however during busier seasons, like at the moment, this can slow down to as, uh, as much as 25 days or even 30 days. Now that, we, uh, that more models are starting to show their age, we are able to complete more reviews. But remember that the priority for the channel is the smaller N-gauge operations of the MTMR Railway, i.e. our Japanese fleet. Australian unboxing videos and AMRA videos will, uh, will continue to be uploaded on the main channel for the foreseeable future. Model Railway exhibition videos will continue to be uploaded to the main channel for now, however there are plans to transfer these at some point, just not this year. Alright, time for the main part. Beginning from the end of our holiday season, for the first time since 2018, we will no longer have an uploading schedule. Instead, this will be replaced by video quotas. The weekly schedule means a minimum of 52 videos per year. The video quotas will allow a bit more freedom with uploading as I slowly transition to having a busier life. To start with, the video quota will be 3 per month until July, when it will be raised to 4. We are still planning a holiday schedule at the end of the year. Basically, the monthly quota is a minimum amount of videos for that month. There is no maximum, so it does mean that we can increase the number of uploads if necessary, or during quieter times, hit the lower limit by the quota. As per our flexible scheduling, videos will be uploaded within 30 hours of the end of the event slash tour. Meaning, in most cases, videos will still be uploaded between Saturday to Tuesday. Videos that are split into two parts that were filmed in one day will be counted as a single video and will not be counted towards the quota. Videos will not be uploaded within four days of each other, so this will be another limitation. Videos that aren't uploaded as part of the flexible scheduling will usually go up on either a Monday or a Sunday, like currently. As some of you may have seen from our end of year review, that video was the last of its style. From this year, I would like to no longer only have Victorian content, instead beginning to include 
other states where possible. We will still primarily stay Victorian for the time being with a sprinkling of other content but this will open both more opportunities and allow for a cleaner transition if Victoria is no longer my home state in the future because the future is very uncertain. Along with that, the review will also change to f focusing on the channel and the brand so that rather than being segmented in rail achievements, it will be segmented into the three channels. The final change is with social media. From the end of the holiday season, the main channel will only be shared to Facebook, Blogger, something which not many people use, and the Community tab, primarily for updates though. Twitter will stay in use for the Model Railway and Vlog channels, for now. Since 2021, I have no longer had full access to Twitter, due to the change in functionality with that platform. Meaning, whenever I post a video remotely, that is the only platform to miss out. The two other channels, since their uploading times and schedules are a bit more flexible, have continued to be shared on Twitter. In the future, we hope to expand our social media but that is a more future outlook. Alright, I think that should be it. Quite a few changes for the main channel, but this should hopefully pave the way for the future of the channel. Until next time, thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you all very soon.